Abu Salem. Gangster most loved by women. Born as Abu Salem Abdul K. Umansori. Born in 1960s. Born at Azamgarh district in Uttar Pradesh, India. Occupation, leader of organized crime syndicate. Conviction, life imprisonment and murder of builder Pradeep Jain. Present status, lodged in Indian prison. Spouse slash S, same marriage humani, Monica Abadi, say Kaus. Abu Salem born Abu Salem Abdul Kayu Mansari, also known as Akil Ahmed Azmi alias Captain alias Abu Saman alias Abu Chirmari alias Arslan Masan Ali alias Captain alias Danish Beg alias Ramakam Mali alias Sardar alias Chenna. Abu Salem is a gangster originally from Azamgarh district in Uttar Pradesh, state of India. Salem tried his hand on different works before joining organized gang in Mumbai Adar D Company. Abu Salem was involved in several murders, extortion and other cases. Abu Salem was arrested in Portugal in 2002 and extradited to India in 2005 after completing jail terms in Lisbon jail for forging ravel documents. Early Life of Abu Salem According to the CBI Abu Salem was born in 1969 but Mumbai police record says he was born on 1962. Some reports suggest his birth year 1968 too. Abu took birth in the lower middle class family of Sarai Mir village of Azamgarh district, Uttar Pradesh, state of India. Abu Salem was third among four brothers but some reports reads that he was the eldest of four brothers. His father was a lawyer by profession, who was killed in a road accident, when Abu Salem was just a kid. Abu started a small mechanic shop in Sarai Mir village to support his family. It is also known fact that he studied in a primary school of Azamgarh city. Abu Salem left the village before completing inter-college and moved to Delhi, where he worked as a taxi driver for some time. In 1985, Salem came to Mumbai to earn livelihood. He worked as a bread delivery boy between Bandra and Anhuri, later worked at a garment shop in Anhuri West in 1986. After some time he used to work as a real estate broker and operated from Arasa Market in Anhuri West in 1987. It is there that in 1988 Abu Salem assaulted a colleague over a monetary issue and the first case against him was registered at Anhuri Police Station. Abu Salem married Samira Jumani, a girl from Joj Swari. It is not clear that he divorced her or not. He has two sons from her. She lives in the United States of America. Abu Salem loved Bollywood films and reportedly named his sons after Bollywood actors. His elder brother Abu Hatim, also known as Chan Chan Mian, owns a shop in his native village. Personal Life of Abu Salem he married Samira Jumani, a college girl and a 17-year-old minor in 1991 from whom he has a son. Samira currently lives in Duluth, Georgia, United States. Post Salem's arrest in Portugal, she told interviewers that Abu Salem is a violent psychotic man and she was forced onto marriage. In September 2002, Abu Salem and his Bollywood partner Monica Bidi, were arrested and served jail sentence in Portugal for entering the country on forged documents. In 2006, an Indian court convicted Monica Bidi for procuring a passport on a fictitious name. In November 2010, the Supreme Court of India upheld her conviction but reduced the jail term to the period that she had already served. Involvement in Underworld in the 80s, Abu Salem came to Mumbai from his hometown as Andrahan up. He started working for his cousin actor who had a cheap electronics shop near Andhuri railway station. Actor also worked for a Saitopi, a Dawood Ibrahim gang leader in the Andhuri area. After some time Abu Salem started a travel agency at Santa Cruz with J.K. Ibrahim, who worked for the Dawood gang. From 1989 to 1993, Salem worked as a driver for the D Company, Dawood Ibrahim Gang, and he delivered weapons, illegal cash and goods to different gang members in Mumbai. His proficiency at delivering goods at the right time and place earned him the nickname Mabu Saman. In 1992, he supplied weapons to film actor Sanjay Dutt. 
He played an active role in March 1993 Mumbai serial bomb blasts which killed over 250 people, left 700 injured and damaged property worth Rs 270 million. In 1993, Abu Salem left the country and moved to Dubai when the police started rounding up suspects in serial blasts case. Police record says that Abu Salem had a business establishment there called Kings of Car Trading. In the mid-90s, many sharpshooters from D Company were either killed by the Katarajan gang or in police encounters. Salem successfully introduced a new strategy of hiring unemployed Muslim youths from his hometown Azamgur to come to Mumbai, carry off the shooting and return to Azamgur the next day. Those youths were paid a paltry sum compared to sharpshooters and the Mumbai police also could not track them as the youths had no criminal record with the Mumbai police. Soon Abu Salem got the support of Anis Ibrahim, Dawood's brother, and he rose to prominence within the gang. Because of his smooth-talking skills, Salem was given the responsibility to manage the Bollywood deals and film financing for Dawood. Abu Salem organized stage shows where he invited actors. He was involved in extorting from the Hindi film industry, channeling illicit money into film production, forcibly getting the dates of stars, and usurping overseas rights. Abu Salem first worked under Kulta Shakil but later split and took the threatening film personalities for extortion. In mid-1997, Abu Salem reportedly went to Pakistan to make arrangements for the marriage of Dawood's brother Hume Yun. Salem is believed to have murdered music baron and T-series owner Gulshan Kumar on August 12, 1997 without Dawood's consent, angering him. Salem fled Dubai, fearing Dawood's wrath. Abu Salem finally parted ways with Dawood after being sidelined in 1998. His friction with Shaquille and Dawood's favoring of Shaquille is believed to be the reason behind Salem's split from the D Company. In 2000, he planned kidnapping of Milton Plastics owner for ransom of Rs 30 million. In January 2001, his men shot Ajit Thawani, personal secretary to film actress Manisha Koyarala. In October 2001, four members of his gang shot down in Bandra before they could target film personalities Amir Khan, Ashutash Gawarakar, and Jammu Sudhan. In July 2002, two shooters of Salem gang opened fire on film director Lawrence D'Souza who survived. Abu Salem also attempted to kill sign figures Rajiv Rai, Rikesh Roshan, and Madmohan Shetty. Arrest, extradition and trial. Abu Salem was convicted for the 1993 Mumbai serial blasts case, and murder of music baron Dalshan Kumar in 1996 Indian actress Manish's secretary, a builder and more than 50 other cases. On September 20, 2002, he was arrested along with Monica Buddy by Interpol in Lisbon, Portugal. His satellite phone was tracked using GPS technology. It is also said that his whereabouts tipped off Bainis and Kitta Shakil to Indian intelligence agencies and they supplied this information to Lisbon police through Interpol. Monica Buddy was a film actress who reportedly had relationship with him. In February 2004, a Portugal court cleared his extradition to India to face trial in the 1993 Mumbai bomb blasts case. In November 2005, Portuguese authorities handed him over to India on the assurance by the government of India that the death penalty would not be handed out. When Salem was in Lisbon fighting India's extradition of them, the only proof that he was indeed Salem was provided by the fingerprint and photographs taken after his arrest in 1991. Monica Bidi was also extradited to India and later convicted of passport forgery in 2006 and served her imprisonment but she was not involved in any of the business which belongs to Abu Salem. In March 2006, a special Tata court filed eight charges against him and his alleged associate Raya Siddiqui for his role in the 1993 Mumbai serial blasts case. He stands accused of ferrying and distributing weapons. A lower court in Portugal cancelled his extradition to India for violation of deportation rules by Indian authorities by instituting fresh cases against him which attracted death penalty. 
In July 2012, the Portuguese Supreme Court of Justice questioned the legal right of Indian authorities to challenge the cancellation of extradition order. On June 27, 2013, Salem was shot by Devendra Jagtap alias J.D., an accused and the advocate shaded as me murder case in Saitaloja Central Jail in neighboring Navi Mumbai, the police said. Salem sustained injury to his hand as Jagtap fired one round. Abu Salem was convicted in Pradeep Jain murder case on February 16, 2015. Jain, a city-based builder, was shot dead outside his Juhu bungalow on March 7, 1995. Naim Khan, an accused and the case had turned approver. Raz Siddiqui, another accused and the case had turned approver then retracted and is being tried separately. He was sentenced life imprisonment in Pradeep Jain murder case on February 25, 2015. Abu Salem is currently incarcerated in high security our third jail in India. Music debut of Abu Salem. In August 2013, Punjabi singer Sukhwinder Singh Man alias Sukha Delhi Waller revealed that he would release a song composed by Abu Salem while lodged in Tehar Gao, in his next music album. The music album shall also feature many other celebrities like Rahul Mohajan and Vindu Dara Singh. Net worth. Abu Salem is said to be a billionaire gangster worth Rs. 55 billion or approximately 67 million dollars. His cash and property have been valued at least Rs. 10 billion, which is divided between him and his wife, Samira Jumani. While Salem stakes a claim to Rs. 2 billion, his wife possessed Rs. 8 billion in cash and property. Salem's investments in Bollywood and Hawala rackets are estimated to be at least another Rs 30 billion. The CBI arrived at the figures on the basis of one year's transactions in 2000 and 2001, and are said to be a conservative estimate. Salem possessed an non-immigrant work visa in the US, where he was employed as a maintenance manager for a marine engineering company. As he operated under different names, he could buy property worth crores, despite his employment background. Preliminary calculations by the CBI revealed transactions worth Rs 2 billion were carried out by Salem in the year 2000 itself. Details of his earlier transactions were not known as his whereabouts are not known. Police sources say that his Benami but legal businesses in the Middle East are run by his close associates, 